Electricity is super useful. But what happens when it goes out of control? Like here. Or how about this? Today, we'll show you the craziest and coolest electric moments. If you ever feel like walking under electric discharges, make sure to wear this Faraday suit first. It's perfect for high voltage protection. Who knew a small metal ball stuck on a power line could leave over 200,000 people without electricity? I think this situation can still be saved. Oh, never mind. Time to get out of here fast. Even the power lines are feeling the holiday spirit. They're just trying to create a Christmas miracle. If a transformer acts like this, it's definitely time to back away. Unless you're an electrician. And if you are, I get why you'd want to stay back too. This 400,000 volt short circuit arc is intense. It's lucky we're seeing this through a screen. Witnessing it in real life would make your eyes say goodbye. We all know from childhood that electricity and water don't mix well. Here's a perfect example of why they should never be near each other. Let's be honest, it looks amazing, but that doesn't make it any less dangerous. Is this a power line failure or just some New Year's fireworks? When you don't have friends, you entertain yourself however you can. This guy decided to cause a short circuit. Why not? Looks like a ritual to summon Zeus, but it's just broken contacts. Turns out syringes can collect more than just liquids. They can handle electricity, too. A physicist's typical backyard. If I saw this over my fence, I'd think I was losing my mind. If you ever wonder why sunrise happens at 1 a.m., it's just your neighbor having fun with their new 20,000 watt lamp. This is the largest Tesla coil in the world, producing 3 million volts of electricity. This is how electricity flows through wood. It looks stunning, almost like veins carrying blood. But it's definitely bad news for the wood. All right, kids, your homework today is to create an electric arc. I wouldn't want to have charged relationships with people who can create things like this. Even with special protection, grabbing a 30,000 volt wire is risky. I don't even want to imagine what would happen without the glove. Imagine creating 8,000 volt electric arcs as part of your daily job. Linemen don't have to imagine, they live it. The 
The grounding discharge during a single phase fault looks like something out of this world. Stunning, yet otherworldly. When you ignore safety rules and chop down trees near power lines, be ready for the consequences. Looks like these power lines don't appreciate anyone invading their personal space. Now that is what I call a Home Alone style garland. When you try to warm your hands on a radiator and end up throwing a disco party in the next room. So who do you call for this? I doubt there's a plumber-electrician combo out there. Looks like someone might be stuck in the bathroom forever. So this is how all the greatest hits are made. Mystery solved. Hey, something's burning over there. Are you sure everything's grounded properly? Electric arcs are mesmerizing to watch, but they're incredibly dangerous if not controlled. These electricians barely avoid disaster, but handle it like pros. The pole decided to make a dramatic exit, with a spark, of course. Yeah! Our lines are absolutely ruthless. This tree didn't stand a chance against that voltage. It should have chosen a better place to fall. A New Year's greeting from Lahore Electricity that's as spectacular as it is terrifying. Not sure I'd want a surprise like that from my utility company. With so many wires around, it's a miracle they didn't all spark like that. Electricity and fire. Together, they make a killer combo. It all seemed fine. And then... The worker didn't even rush over must be a regular occurrence. Hopefully the crane operator didn't get fried, but they probably lost their job. Looks like the electricity wasn't happy about the mechanism being turned off. <laughs> Do power stations have their own flags now? Amazing how such a small, unassuming device can hold back the flow of electricity. <laughs> Trying to light a cigarette using a power line? Yeah, that's not surprising. Sorry, smokers. Bored on your day off? You can always pass the time with a casual, low-effort task like creating an electric arc. So this is how portals are created. Something tells me stepping outside right now would be a terrible idea. Short circuits spare no one. I'm no expert, but it's probably time to replace that transformer. Electrical leaks are no joke. When your stove technically works, but the buttons activate all the wrong things. So can the girl now charge a phone by plugging her finger into a socket? Going up into her head. <laughs> Working at a cafe means being a waiter, cook, and apparently an electrician, too.
Is this secretly Zeus's staff in disguise? Hey, look! This feels like the perfect moment for a superhero, or maybe a supervillain, to make an entrance. Wait, is there another one coming? Just look at how easily this electric arc burned through fabric. Don't get me wrong, you're still going to get electrocuted. I'm sure it's still going to hurt if you survive. This tool is a must-have for every electrician. Quick, convenient, and most importantly, safe. This is what happens when workers forget to think about wires before digging. Someone definitely lost their job that day. I wish I could stay as calm as this dump truck driver when they tore down power lines and just kept driving. Tree plus power lines equals a terrifying scene, and eventually an explosion. Sometimes it feels like nature made a mistake making trees such excellent conductors of electricity. Here's how trees are removed from power lines. Luckily, no sparks this time. If you accidentally let go of balloons, pray they don't hit power lines. Go over the power lines, please, please, please. Ah. This is why it's crucial to regularly check equipment to avoid explosive surprises like this. When there's nothing you can do to stop an explosion, just stand back and record it. But do it from a safe distance. Two green, four green. Now this is what I call a perfect mechanism. 100% accuracy. That's no ordinary electric arc. It's practically an electric flame. An electric discharge turned this ordinary rock into a mini volcano. And here's probably the most powerful electric arc you'll ever see. would have ever guessed this machine holds over 500,000 volts of tension. Here's a new phobia for anyone living under power lines. Someone decided to throw a shopping cart at power lines for fun. People have the strangest hobbies these days. Feels like these people are playing a game of chance. Whoever doesn't get shocked wins. Oops, looks like this guy was turning the wrong way. What could be better than your morning coffee paired with an explosion on the power lines? Respect to the driver who turned back immediately. That flash was no joke. These kinds of explosions would make amazing effects for music videos or action movies. They're better than most CGI. No worries if power lines freeze over. Controlled short circuits are used to de-ice them. How cool is that? By now, it's clear most issues with power lines happen because of falling trees. 
When Transformers break down, they turn into literal infernal machines. It's incredible how such a small, nondescript box can cause such a massive explosion. All this trouble because one circuit failed during maintenance. This is what happens when a safety device doesn't kick in. Raging electricity and a massive fire. And this transformer? It decided to rebel and burn down the entire substation. At least now we know for sure. Staying away from those power lines is a very good idea. <laughs> 